Hey everyone, welcome back to Elden Ring. We are here, and I think I found the way into Nocturne City. So, I didn't actually go anywhere. If you just kind of walk over here, you can see this is actually just where we were. I just saw this little nook, and I was like, oh wait a second. Walked over here, and I think this is how we get down into the, into the center. So... We're looking for, we're looking for a finger slaying blade or something like that, and I think, and then we have to bring it to Ronnie. That's that's the quest we're on. So, we have to defeat somebody here at the center. Of the city. and then return the blade to Ronnie. So just need to try and find our way there, that's all. Oh. That thing is, they are firing fast. Oh, it's kind of humanoid, whatever they are. pretty tough. Whoa. Oh, wow. A lot of, uh, a lot of stamina on that one. They are just using a single club, and they're not wearing any armor, so I guess they're just incredibly light just swung a lot more than I was expecting it to. I figured it would stop after a couple goes, but nope. Yeah, we can't even go that way anyway, so I guess we were going the right way. I didn't even... wasn't even really thinking, to be honest with you. Oof. That one's an easy one to overjump, isn't it? No, thank you. There we go. We'll just get rid of you right off the bat. There we go. That's that's how we get business done. We just come in and we absolutely slaughter you. That's what we do. And because we killed both of them, we replenished the flask we used. That worked out pretty well for us. now I think we gotta go down there yeah I believe right here at this temple this is this is what we're trying to fight There's just a horrible ball of death or something in here that you have to fight. That rolling ball attacks you. It's a chance to get some health flasks back, but we're already full. Yeah, this, this thing rolls and attacks you. I can't remember how you take it out, if you even can. Oh, 
<laughs> Just gotta get a dig in, don't you? Say hello to my ball friend. Or it can, it can kill me. That, that's cool too. Ah, we were close to kind of killing it. If we could just, I think if you kill the ball, you're fine. Ugh, I gotta do this all over again. I hate that stupid thing. It's not even that it's overly tough to be honest. It's those other two. They just, they have to come in and attack you while this ball is rolling around because they got nothing better to do with their lives. So, looks like we found the perfect little hiding spot for this thing. Yeah, come on. Ha 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 ha. There we go. That was a little cheap, but I don't, I'm not even upset by it. All right. Oh, perfect. And there's a grace down here. So you can just... Looks like it's pretty easy just to run past them. So yeah, you could just run right past. And come straight down to this grace. And you wouldn't have to do all that again. Not that those silver tears should really be that tough. They're relatively weak enemies. Oh man, more of these things. Well, as long as they don't transform, they're not too bad. This is when they're annoying. Oh, that was way closer than I needed it to be. Well, it looks like we've got another one. Might even be worth summoning Oleg at this point. Just for an extra hand against all of these. I don't know how many more of these are gonna turn. Just a, uh, just one of these guys. As I get hit by one of the easiest moves to avoid. There we go. Not a tough enemy, but I panicked there. It looked like they changed up its moveset right there, so that's kind of interesting. Alright, so we defeated all of that. Where is this finger blade? Is it just, like, in the scent? It's... Ooh. Is there anything that's going to attack me from the sky here? What's in here? I thought we were supposed to meet Blyde down here. There's the finger slayer blade. Great ghost. Nice. You need, uh, you need those in order to upgrade 
your uh, summons. So there we have it. We didn't run into Blyde down here, unfortunately. I really thought he would show up somewhere down here and we could talk to him. But I guess we just completed the quest without him. So the next thing we need to do is we need to go and we need to talk to Ronnie. Oh, <laughs> that could have almost ended very poorly for us. Hey, Ronnie. Ah, it was thee, not blithe it seemeth. Even in my slumber I sensed it. It is in thy possession, is it not? The hidden treasure of Nokron. My thanks. Finally all the pieces are in place. Soon must I begin my journey. Upon the dark path only I may tread. Yeah. Ah. But before I leave, I shall entrust thee with this. An invert step. My thanks. A strange gift, perhaps. But a rare sort such as thee would welcome it, I'm sure. I am certain now. Fate steered us to our reunion. I must thank Torrent, too, for his part. You may leave now. It was but brief. But thou gavest me fine service. What? That's it? That's, that, that's all you what want from me? I too am. Oh. Well, that's disappointing. See, I guess the point of Ronnie's quest line is you do all this stuff for her. And obviously she abandons us. Well, it doesn't abandon us, but she relieves us of our service. But uh, then the last part of it, we actually... I guess, in a sense, end up killing her is the idea. Nice. I do believe that the next place we need... Look at this. Guys, rocking two giant swords over there. The next tower we need to go to, I believe this third one over here is now actually opened. And now we can use it to transport ourselves to the next area. I could be wrong though, don't quote me. No, it's, it's looking still locked, isn't it? Locked shut for now. Interesting. What are we missing? Hmm. I'm not too sure what we're what we're missing here. This is rather unfortunate. I don't think we're missing anything. I think it's just supposed to be open. Do we have... We only have 13,000 runes. Not that. Oops. There isn't really... Maybe we're just supposed to... I don't know. Things are feeling a little weird. I mean, the castle over for Radon, that was... Nothing was there for enemies. They were just all gone. And then now we're completing quests and we are not getting access to the things we need. Very peculiar. 
You know what? I actually am going to use this time to go see if we can strengthen our summons and see if she is ready to start doing that or not. Ah, there we go. It looks like she is ready to start. Good to see you again. Thank you very much. I have you to thank, don't I? For persuading Master Hugh. I can happily announce that he has taught me the noble toil of spirit tuning. I'm as yet unsure of what I might be able to accomplish. But if I might be able to help you all, I'd certainly like to try. And if there's any chance to ease the suffering of my dear men who were grafted, well, I certainly must try. Roderica, the spirit tune apprentice. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Awesome. There's something you should know. about something. A little while ago, someone started lurking in the wing on the opposite side of the round table. And I can hear, from all the way over there, the howling and wailing of spirits in fear of a curse. I can even hear the repulsive twisted malice in itself. A plethora of spirits in an unceasing cacophony. I can't even imagine. How much suffering inflicted to who knows how many souls. Not even the grafting caused anything like this to happen. You should keep your distance. I know you're strong, but please. I wonder if there's a... She's talking about, um... The Loathsome Dung Eater. Yeah, so we need Ghost Claw Worth 1, and we don't even have one of those. That's disappointing. We do have the Graves, and we could upgrade our lesser ones. But King Oleg, we can't. That makes me sad. Alright, so we're over here at the other side of the round table. Got this guy out here, he's got some kind of sick, but really heavy armor. You can come in here. Doesn't appear to be anybody. I think this is where you meet the gold mask. That is, I just wreck his library. And, oh, we can talk to these guys. So we've got the Bell Bearing 1. Bell Bearing. There we go. Oh, Bell Bearing 2. So here we are, far left. I think this is the one they're talking about. This is the Dung Eater. He's, uh, he's not the friendliest of sorts. Have you ever felt the With your whole being? The pox upon life itself, feared and despised by all. The reviled blessing. <sighs> Apparently not. You are but a lamb, a stranger to defilement, ignorant of your own ignorance. You no longer interest me. I've been long without peace. Don't spoil my quietude. All right, so he's not in the talking mood, it sounds like. Probably just going to leave him alone. We were able to pick up a couple of the things we need for spirit tuning, though, from those statued ladies. So... Are you here for... Yeah, there we go. So we can upgrade Oleg. And once more. And one more time. Perfect. I don't know where the fourth one is, but there we are. All right, so we hung out at the round table for a little bit. Let's go back and see if Ronnie's rise has opened up. There we go. Looks like you just had to wait for some time to pass, so... Anything behind to check out? Nope. It's nice, got stronger King Oleg now, so that'll be beneficial. 
Actually, now that I am kind of thinking about it, oh, we can't use this. We need 15 intelligence, and we've only got 10. So I can't even switch to that shield. I would like to switch to that shield at some point. It blocks more magic, more percentage, so... All right, here we go. All right. And once we get here, there we go. We got a miniature Ronnie doll. And we picked up our Sight of Grace. Talk to Miniature Ronnie. Oh, nothing. Oh, a doggy there we fellow, go. aren't we? <laughs> Or is it merely thy habit to talk to dolls? Fine. <laughs> Fine. I hadn't expected any soul to recognize me in this guise. But now the cat is out the bag. I cannot allow thee thy freedoms. Perform for me a service as recompense. Eliminate the baleful shadows which prowl these lands. The name of Rani the Witch is already sullied by thee. I will not brook disobedience in this matter uh she doesn't sound too happy with us Perform for me as eliminate the base name of i will not yeah she seems a little upset with us i think we're supposed to take out uh kind of like a shadow of blide now i'm just not 100 percent sure where we go from here i think we're supposed to go to a lake there is something nasty hiding way over there. Alright, so I guess we're just going to have to carry on and see what we can find here. Hey, these things kind of suck just because they're so resilient. Hey. does stagger it stagger super far away <laughs> useful all right that thing is nasty looking sounds unfriendly as well It's like it's shooting kind of meteor stuff at us, similar to um, Radon. Can we get close and attack it? wasn't so tough. Oh, hello. rolling at me. It's rolling. What does it want? We need to heal badly. There we go. Okay. 
Ah. Oh. That was a sad death. It was a sad death. I can't ride torrent down here. Oh, I have to run. I don't want to fight these things anymore. I don't like their attack pattern. It's not that they're hard, it's that they're annoying. Well, at least that big thing doesn't come back. They're just, they're so slow, and when there's a group of them, and they mix up their attacks and stuff like they are, it gets hard to just keep track of absolutely everything they're doing. And I just don't like them. So, moving on. Don't want to fight them. Been there. Done that. We're moving on. No, get out of here. Don't talk to me. What's this stuff? Formic Rock. Alright, now... Oh, is that an ant? That looks like a giant butthead ant. Wow, they're strong. Took that guard hit pretty easily. are uh, not the friendliest type of enemy. I think the key... I do believe that that ranged attack is a one-shot. We had a fair bit of health when it took us down. So the key might be to like just keep moving so that way you can be behind it. Like keep close, keep a tight circle on it. I do that with some of the bigger enemies, try to keep close and keep a tight circle, and then it works with like spear guys and stuff, when they go to attack you, they tend to end up leaving themselves open enough that you can get behind them and get those criticals off. So we might have to do something like that. I don't know how many hits it's going to take though. I don't really want to lose all those runes. Looks like they stagger when they hit. Okay, so about four hits. It looks like they stagger, too. Whoa! Okay. That one caught me just a little bit off guard. We were not looking at it when it did that. Oh, there's more of them. Well, that's a flying one. Oh, it's after us. Ah, Noxtella, the Eternal City. Can you get in here? Run away! Alright. Where are we now? I do believe this is the way to go. We don't have enough for a level up. Let us speak of the past a while. I was once an Imperium of the Demigods. Only I, Mikola, and Melania could claim that title, which is when I received Blythe. In the but I would not acquiesce to the I stole the rune of death. Slew my I would not be controlled. The two fingers and I have been cursing each other and the baleful shadows. Alright, so we'll just uh, keep carrying on through here. Oh my goodness, there's warriors on ants. How tough are these guys, I wonder? <laughs> Didn't even hear me. Fear me! So if we can fight them, 
one on one. We can, in theory, just keep. Ooh, ghost, more ghost clawworms. There's a seven there. I think I need like a four to upgrade next. Oh, we got more of these silver tears, and these ones seem electric. What are they doing? Okay, so they explode into electricity. Oh. Ow. Oh, hey, man, I, I kind of need you to come over here because I need to fight you on your own. Yeah, come on, come fight me. I like that plan. Come this way. Come on. Don't be afraid of me. Don't be afraid. I'm, I'm only gonna hurt you. Ooh. Oh my goodness. They all caught up with me so much more than I was expecting. And there was one on the far side. That's unfortunate. We almost took him out, but there were just, there's so many of those silver tears. Oh my goodness. All right, so let's, let's try this again, shall we? Where's that one? There's that one. So this one will be easy to deal with hopefully they got a nasty like weapon set there that's unfortunate that one didn't want to stagger at all tough tough bugger worth a good 1200 runes apiece only need 20,000 runes to level up oh my goodness Okay, mister. I don't like you shooting that at me. This is the one that got me last time. Those two are annoying up there. Can we get at them easier? Ah, oh, my goodness. Uh, snail snakes. What? Oh no! So many. No thank you. Snails and snakes together. What an interesting combo. Oh, and poison. Ow! They're actually pretty fast too. For snakes. Or for snails, sorry. Move pretty good. Ow. Okay, we've got them all. And it doesn't look like there is an easy way up there to those guys. It's a little bit unfortunate. Ouch! Well, that backfired on me hard. There's just so many enemies, you really gotta slow play it. This is when I kind of wish I had access to magic or something, to start picking people off from a little bit of a distance. I don't think we're even going to bother fighting you this time. We're just going to run straight past you. Or you're going to notice me. We're just going to run past you. Pretend you don't exist. Because I 
want to get at least to my runes. Of course, shoot at me right as I jump. Nope, nope, nope. A whole lot of nope for me. Nope, thank you. So many of you. Ugh, more ants and soldiers. Hey, buddy. Should have just attacked at least once, but I just kept trying to dodge, looking for an opening. I hate getting in that mindset where you're like, oh, I've got all these runes and I really just want to get through. I hate that mindset. It makes, makes you play too cautiously. Or at least for me, anyways. I mean, anyone out there who can just look at their runes and go, oh, whatever. You know, kudos to you. It's oh, the best way to get through these guys, I wonder. I, I really, no, no thanks. No, oh, no, just, just leave me be. Just, just leave me be. I don't want to fight you guys. I'm not interested. That's just so many enemies. Oh, there's a golden seed up there. I should go get that. Oh, of course you're gonna see me right away. Oh, you would run. Oh! Hey. Oh my goodness! The other one joined in. I was about to say, if I just rolled off the edge, I'm gonna be very upset. No thanks. alone with your whip get out of here no I don't like those guys I don't like the whip it's annoying All right where are we this is looking familiar I think this, yeah, this is the way we need to go, right? I'm thinking a rest is in order, so that way we can replenish our class. Even Looks like Ronnie's got something to say. On the two fingers, Blythe remained my loyal ally. <laughs> Though he was created a vassal for an Aryan, he was a colossal failure on the part of the two fingers. Blythe. And E.G. both. Art willing to give too much to me. Yet, they both understand what lieth beyond the dark path. But I must betray everything and rid the world of what came before. Ah. Should I add thee to the list? Another one. Kind of heart. As kind of heart as they. This form hath loosened my tongue. I've let slip too much. <laughs> Forget what thou's heard. Forget. Yeah, good luck with that, Ronnie. Mm. 
What are we fighting now? Whoa. Oh yeah, these things spew death, don't they? I very much like to not die to you guys. All right. Oh. Blind, oh, baleful shadow. Thou there we go. Blast. This is what we're looking for. Tell the two fingers that Rani the witch cometh. Drain thy flesh with a fateful wound, ne'er to heal. Okay, he's he's pretty strong, actually. Oh, that looked nasty. <sighs> Not particularly fond of this area. I'm starting to get feelings like when we first entered the castle for Radon. I was feeling very hopelessly outmatched, and I'm starting to get similar feelings now. I'm just starting to feel overwhelmed. No! Oh my goodness, that one hurt. Hey, healing's my thing. No. Ooh, he takes out a lot of stamina with that hit. I appear to be burning. Hey, man. Ouch. No summons helps, I don't think. Or can I? I think I can summon help. No, I can't. You did it, you did it, right when I wasn't ready. Nice. Got ourselves a discarded palace key. Alright, so we have defeated the nasty shadow. Actually, I made a bigger deal of that than I think was necessary. Oh, the Lake of Rot. Oh, how we love thee. But, uh, 
it's stressful for sure, but I think it's mostly because I was just afraid of losing runes, as I kind of always am. I like runes. I don't want to have to lose them. <laughs> All right, so we're back at the Academy of Rayla, and it turns out that that key opens, where's this chest here? This is the chest that we couldn't get to before. So it's a dark moon ring. I don't know what it does, but I'm curious now. Okay, I'm not too sure where it is in the inventory. We can't use it or anything like that. Not even 100% sure if we uh, need it or not. There's just one more thing I kind of want to check before we get too much further into the storyline. Ah, oh, there is a chest up here. There we go. Awesome. We can now rock the Snow Witch's look and... All right, so there we go. We've got Ronnie's kind of witch. It kind of mixed and matched a little bit just so we could um, How do we get back to the lake of rot? Is this one here? Yeah, there we go Kind of mixed and matched a little bit get a little bit of the bonuses of a lot of the stuff We're a fair bit lighter now, so we'll burn way less Stamina and then the hat is just a guaranteed it's better like it's kind of the best one we've got I think so and then I'm still wearing some armor everywhere else so let's see about getting through the lake of rot this is a kind of interesting there we go on the map this is kind of interesting because it looks a lot worse than it kind of actually is if you just get Ugh. And Scarlet rot, rot lasts for so long. Do I have anything to heal us? No, I do not. Unfortunately. And when you got the Scarlet Rot, you can just run around in it, and we will just eventually die from it. Scarlet Rot has got to be my least favorite um, thing to deal with in this game. Like, I can deal with fire, I can deal with poison, I can deal with a lot of it, but not, not Scarlet Rot. Good thing we spent all our runes. Yeah, no thanks. There's supposed to be spots where we can lift up the ground around here, isn't there? Ah, okay, it's these pressure plates here. There's gonna be more of them everywhere. You're supposed to go through and find them and it'll open up everything, but it's already too late for us. You can see, like, we've already gone through all of our health potions. The most we can do is hope to make it to the grace that's over here before the rot takes our lives. We got two kind of left. I did not need to get stuck there. Come on, we're almost there. Almost there. And there we go. We have officially made it to the cathedral thing that we need to get to. All right, so let's carry on here. I did 
I did just kind of finally look up how to actually get through Ronnie's questline, because this is where it starts getting kind of crazy. I mean, it's been getting a little bit crazy here for now. And like I said, I did only do this once. But there's a lot of, like, just exploring and stuff that you seem to have to do. There's just stuff I would not have expected to ha to do. Like, this is... Trying to get through the Lake of Rot would have been... Like, my first time was insane. I spent hours running around trying to figure it out. And then, you know, you're, you gotta come through here. And then you have to, for some untold reason, go check out this coffin. And you gotta rest in it. Like, that's a really interesting... way for the game to work. It's cool, for sure, but, you know... At this point, it almost feels like you have to look up walkthroughs. And I'm really curious how people actually did this. I mean, they just have a lot of time on their hands, I guess. So they just really enjoy the game. So instead of, you know, me who plays, you know, a couple hours a day or something, maybe people play more. Like you gotta, it's a serious investment for sure to run around and check everything out in this game because the map is so huge. I love the hat. I really do. I love how big and crazy it is. Like, how are you going to see past that? How does it stay on your head? Alright. Oh, and looks like we've got a boss fight on our hands. So... I think that is where we're going to call it for this episode, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, I'm not too sure how many tries this is going to take or how long. I think it's kind of nasty, so we'll find out in the next episode. So thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying. I'm excited to almost be done with Ronnie's quest line. We're getting very close, and then we can actually carry on with the main objective of the game finding the elden rings and going and defeating those bosses we will be tackling some of the other side kind of bosses like the not the main ones but some of the ones that are kind of iconic and you have to fight so stay tuned for that um but yeah thanks so much for watching hope you guys enjoy hope to see you in the next one and uh peace out guys